and welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and I make videos on art, upcycling, and DIYs, so if that interests you, make sure you subscribe. You may have seen my other YouTube video where I transformed an old Altoid tin into a koi pond, and in this video I'm going to show you how I turned an old tin into a frog pond or pond with some frogs and lily pads and it is so cute. Here it is up close. It is so adorable and it's functional too. You can carry your jewelry or any little items that you need. But without further ado, here's how I made it. First, I'm gonna start by making the frog and I'm using this nice light green color. I mixed some green and white polymer clay together and I warmed it up between my hands and started to form the body. I'm using this little tool that I got from Dollar Tree to put some space in between the eyes. Frogs tend to have kind of eyes on the sides of their heads, so I'm using this tool to create a little bit of an indent between the eyes on the head. Next, I rolled out a tiny piece of clay and folded it in half and that's going to be my back leg and I did that two times and attached it to the body. Next I grabbed another tiny piece and that's going to be my front leg. This one's kind of in an L shape and I'll be adding some feet in a second. I used that same tool to smooth both of the tops down and now we have front and back legs. I rolled out tiny balls and then I flattened them and used this other tool to make two lines that I then squished into a triangle. So these are going to be the little feet slash hands. I think they turned out pretty cute and I think they look just like webbed feet. I did the same thing to two more circles. And these are going to be a little bit bigger and are going to go underneath the first pair that we put. And then I rolled some black dots for eyes and I'm putting them on either side of the head. Next, I grabbed my gold polymer clay and took just a tiny bit of this. This step is definitely not necessary, but I wanted to add a little bit of interest above the eyes, so I took a tiny piece and put it above each of the eyes, and then I also put a tiny piece on the back just to make it look like this frog has some markings. And here is a close-up of the finished frog. Next, I made some lily pads out of the same green, except this time I didn't mix any white. So I rolled it out nice and thin, and then I cut my lily pad shapes, which are kind of just hearts. I ended up making maybe four or five of these shapes. Then I took my rounded tool and made some veining to make it a little bit more realistic. You want one vein down the middle and smaller veins coming out of it. And then I set my frog on my lily pad and I'm going to bake these together. Next, I want to make some rocks to go in my little pond. So I'm taking some white and black polymer clay and mixing those together to get a gray color for my rocks. I'm then taking off little tiny pinches of my clay and rolling them into regular round shapes of all different sizes. You want some rocks that are bigger and some that are smaller, some that are more triangular. Just make a bunch of different types. This next step is totally optional, but I wanted to make a water lily to go on top of my lily pads. So I've rolled out some translucent polymer clay. You can do whatever color you want though. And you wanna roll it out super, super thin and then use an X-Acto knife to cut out a bunch of teardrop shapes. I then used another tool to make one end a little bit skinnier than the others and then started to build them up with four in the center using this little tool to kind of push them into each other going in a circle and adding petals all the way around. And now it's time to bake. I put everything onto my tin foil. At this point, I wasn't sure about the flower, so I didn't put it on a lily pad, but you can go ahead and put it directly on a lily pad before you put it in the oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. I already had this tin and I spray painted the inside black and then I took a little bit of green acrylic paint and tapped it all around the bottom. This is just going to make the bottom look a little bit more interesting before you add rocks. You really don't need to hot glue them, which I learned after, but better safe than sorry. 
Next, I'm going to use some resin to fill the inside. I'm gonna do this in a few layers. This is a part A and part B mixture, so I'm pouring out equal parts of part A and part B, and then I'm going to dump one into the other and mix them together as good as possible, and then I'll pour it into my tin. Try to be very careful when you're mixing because you want to avoid as many air bubbles as possible. However, if you do get air bubbles, which I definitely did, you can use a heat gun or this is actually an embossing gun that I'll use to get rid of some of the bubbles. Just a little bit of heat uh, is pretty helpful to get rid of the bubbles. And then you can also kind of move it around to make sure it's in all of the corners. I had some extra resin, so I thought it would be cute to add some water droplets on my lily pads. So I used a toothpick and just very lightly tapped a few dots onto all of my lily pads. And then I also thought it would be cool to make the frog look like it's slimy and shiny. So I added a little bit of resin along the back of the frog as well. I let all of that sit for 24 hours and I did the same thing again and let it cure for another 24 hours before I used some E6000 to glue everything down. I made sure I didn't add too much resin because I needed it to be able to close with my lily pad and my frog inside. And here is the finished tin. I am so happy with how it turned out. It looks like a little pond. I love the little dots on the lily pads and how wet the frog looks. And it's perfect for storing your rings. I am so, so pleased with how it turned out. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest, and of course on here. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy making.